everyone get your name and your spelling, please? Stephanie Cannon, like a cannonball. And uh, tell our listeners what happened. Um, the police came up. It looked to me like they were more interested in what was going on in Curtis Hickson Park, but uh, we felt like they were might be coming toward us, and so we got our legal observers with the cameras out, and some misunderstanding as to whether tarps were considered bedding or not, and uh, I believe that the police officers acting as normal human beings would got defensive when some people started surrounding them, which, you know, anybody would, and then uh, they, you know, everybody kind of got a little bit tense, but I went over there and I talked to the woman who was obviously in charge, had a real conversation, person to person, you know, she works night shift, she says she's been working night shift for the last nine years and she loves it. And, you know, I was just like, uh, I just want to know what, uh, sorry, I just want to know, you know, basically what you would, or why you wouldn't consider a uh, tarp being a blanket. And I was uh, very civil with her, I can't remember the exact conversation we had, but you know, it was a nice one, and I could tell that when we speak to people with respect, like everybody's people, that uh, people open up and she said that they weren't understanding, but she read the sheet and that should have been enough, but when I asked a little bit further, she said that tarps are allowed as sleeping material when they are sleeping material and they need to not be out then. And I understand that as we need to keep our park nice. And I mean, we're trying. Like, we really do believe that we're keeping our park nice, but, you know, sometimes you stop thinking about things because you get complacent and you get used to stuff. And so we um, had our tarps out there getting ready for the rain before the rain comes because we need to be prepared. And they saw that as making our park look trashy. And you can see both sides of the picture, but now that we do see both sides of the picture, we're both 99% for all humans, and uh, they're going to allow us to have our tarps when we need it. But before that conversation, it was pretty much no, we weren't going to have tarps. So that's about all. And I believe that uh, when we held a general assembly, and everybody seemed to be in agreement that uh, we do need to keep treat everybody with respect and that we um, all all of us both sides on edge and that uh, we're all cool now. So. And the rains are com expecting to be coming so what do you see happening next? Do you think that when the rains come the tarps will come out and you might have to go through this all again or what do you see next? I think that each shift is probably independent of each other so it's very possible but what we are going to do for the future is we are going to have people who know how to speak to people like people go up and speak to other 99 percenters and say you know basically like hey how is it going uh, we need this are you okay with this this is what we're going to do uh, and we're going to work with you you're going to work with us and that's what happened here today so you know Thank you so much. No problem.